Hello, Brian McCarthy here from Bold and Break with a really exciting tutorial. Um, I've been wanting to do more 3D tutorials, so here we go. We're going to be making this. So I made this as a kind of a personal project, um, feeling a bit weird in lockdown, you know, kind of a bit surreal, a bit kind of strange. Still feel like that, don't worry about me. So let's have a look at the scene. And yes, this is, this is weird. And this is the kind of work I love to make, weird work. So what we have in setup, simple setup terms, we have a camera on the spline and that is circling around this weird melty mountain thing I've animated. Okay, let's make this weirdness happen. Now, we want to add a landscape. Um, let's, you know, you can mess with these values. This is kind of experimental anyway. Let's bring this to 260. Uh, bring our width and depth segments to 500. Let's bring our scale down. Just add a stopwatch on this. Bring this up to 50. Add a stopwatch on this. Untick multifactorial. Now the next thing we want to do, add a modifier called taper. Fit to parent. Bring this to about 50. Belay the taper. And we want to then add a wrap modifier. Bring this right under, and this is where you see the weirdness happen. I wouldn't even call it magic. We want to bring this to about 260 as well. Uh, that's fine. Let's change this to 150 and change the radius to about 270 for now. And move that there. Okay, so let's just bring this up to 90 for now. Bring this up to 4. It's a 0. And also change the seed, makes it a bit more jagged. So let's actually do that. Bring it there. We've started to get this weird melty thing happening, which is quite cool. But to sell the effect, it's all about the cinematic shot. And to get the cinematic shot, one must actually add a camera. And go into your camera view. Make sure you don't have some weird numbers like this on it. Zero, zero, fine. And move your camera using your viewports. Now, what will sell this shot is the kind of, uh, the, definitely the angle, what's that? So you want to go wide angle. And bring it in a little bit so we don't see the corner. Then we want to add a spline. We want to that's going correctly and then right click on your camera tag go to animation tags and select align to spline select the spline you can also drag it in give your position uh, a keyframe and then let's say 90 frames make it 100 and tick tangential let's see what this looks like so we're still not seeing anything so then we want to go back into our camera, or sorry, our line to spine path, and make the axis X. And then we see it. So this is going to go around, and we're kind of, you know, we need to move our spline uh, to move the position of the camera now. And the cool thing about this is we can scale our spline in. Press T for scale. And we can scale this in. And we kind of get the effect that we're looking for. Let's change the angle of the lens again. Let's go super wide at 15 millimeters. And we start to get our effect. And maybe bring it in because our spline isn't really, our circle isn't centered. You can center by eye. And this is quite cool. Uh, we get this kind of melting landscape. And you can loop it 
Uh, let's go 180 frames. So then just add your final keyframe um, to bring it back down to its original values, which is here, this keyframe here. So on your landscape to kind of get this loop to work, uh, just kind of set the original values of the landscape back to the way it was, which we had zero on scale or 0 0.2 on scale actually. Uh, and we had 50 on the sea level. And actually we want to bring our position all the way to the end, which is 180 frames. So now you get the loop of it going back to its original state, let's say. So hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, please remember to subscribe. If there's anything you want to see in Cinema 4D, After Effects, please say in the comments below. Does this make sense? Let me know. I'm open to criticism. I'm not sensitive. Um, cool. Thanks for watching and goodbye.